Hello, anyone not still living in the 1970s. We interrupt your day to bring you this announcement. Husker Ninja is in the building. Alright, guys. We are here for episode 28, I believe, of the Nebraska City Wildcats Dynasty. We are here... It's week 11, I th Yeah, week 11. Here's a look at the Mac West standings. Toledo is second. They're 5 and 1 in conference. We're 5 and 0 oh and undefeated. Number 2 in the country. And please tell me Comet Crybaby will make his return in this game. I think he's supposed to. Hello everyone, welcome to Laughlin Stadium in Nebraska City, Nebraska. We got a matchup between the Eastern Michigan Eagles and the undefeated Nebraska City Wildcats. Eastern Michigan won the toss, elects to defer. Out comes the Nebraska City offense. And the crybaby is still not back. Looks like they're going to have to take down Eastern Michigan without him. I thought he was supposed to come back. But on the year, McLaughter's, or Randall Glofters got 1,998 yards, 23 touchdowns, and only 12 interceptions. That's a lot better than his stats last year, in which he only had one more touchdown than interception. Got a man over the middle. It's Jamal Gonzalez for a gain of 26. That'll put Glopped over the 2,000 yard mark. There's Gonzalez again. And he's got 19 yards. First down to the 11 of Eastern Michigan. So far, this has not been a great start. There's Kendrick Coe. He's into the end zone. 11 yards and a touchdown. And it takes all of 49 seconds for Nebraska City to score. Eastern Michigan just turns it right back over. Glofter's 3 for 3 for like 56 yards and a touchdown already. And this has the makings of an ugly blowout. Which should be refreshing cons Fresh off the nail biter in DeKalb, Illinois last week. Never underestimate Northern Illinois. Throws it up. Knocked away by Kevin Johnson. Thought maybe he had Gonzalez again. As is, it's still only Glopter's first incompletion of the game. And here's a third and six for you. Rifles over the middle, one-handed grab by Jamal Gonzalez. What a catch. It'll move the chains. They got it out of the Eastern Michigan 37. And this game could basically be over by halftime. Arthur Irby bouncing tackles the outside. He's inside the 20. I think he's down at the 18. And that is where, where they will mark it. In the red zone again. Still just about 340 to go first quarter. And Nebraska City is looking to go out by two scores. Irby's got three rushes for 28 yards. Rifles it. There's Gonzalez. 12 yards, and they're going to mark him down at the one. And 
Jamal Gonzalez, four catches, 68 yards. Micah Smith drops the sure touchdown. It's going to be one of those days, huh? Second down, goal to go from the one. There's McLaughlin in the end zone. Touchdown to the senior wideout. And the Wildcats are rolling. Eastern Michigan will turn it back over. Can't Well, maybe not a turnover, but they can't do anything. 125 to yo first quarter. Once a shot deep. There's McLaughlin. And he's gone. Now it's 21 to 0. First quarter, there's got three touchdowns. He sets, or he breaks his own record with a 79 yard touchdown. He's 7 for 9, 159 yards, and three touchdowns. All in the first quarter. The Wildcats are rolling. Forty-one seconds to go, first quarter. Nebraska City might still not be done. There's Micah Smith. He only got a yard. Eight for ten, 160 yards, and three scores for Randall Glofter. They got Irby on the screen. He's got two yards. It'll be third and seven. And mercifully, the first quarter is finally over. Nebraska City with a passing explosion. Randall Glofter, 911 yards. A, a little over 160 yards passing and three touchdowns. Nebraska City's up 21-0 after, after one. And now it's third and seven as we begin the second quarter. I don't even know if this Eastern Michigan defense can stop them. McLaughlin dropped it. He was open, had a first down, and just <sniffs> farted it all away. The defense just says, you're not scoring on us, Eastern Michigan. And there's Arthur Irby underneath, three-yard reception. And, um, yeah, safe to say Nebraska City is thoroughly in control. Randall Glofter, 10 for 13, 165 yards in the three touchdowns. Not even a minute gone by second quarter. Randall Glofter running tough, nine yards in a first down. And look out, this game is not going to be close. Eastern Michigan only has one first down. The Wildcats have seven, and they're out by midfield again. Arthur Irby falls forward, gets two. Second down, eight to go. There's Arthur Irby. He's got a block. He's got the first down. It's a 10-yard reception on the screen. Randall Glofter, 11 for 14, 175 yards and three scores. Once a shot deep again, knocked away by Darius Scott. And that's about all it, they can do. Not much of anything. 405 to yo. Well, at least till halftime. Ooh, Arthur Irby hit hard. He only got a yard. 
It is third and nine out of the 43 of Eastern Michigan. One for two on third downs. Throws it up. There's McLaughlin. He's got a first down. Precision on point. 15 yards first down. Glofter is feeling it. If he is this on, it'll be hard for anyone to stop him. And I mean big boy teams too. Like Alabama, whoever. Micah Smith, 7-yard catch. They are out of the 20, almost in the red zone again. Glafter's two yards away from 200 yards in one half. There's McLaughlin. Gregory McLaughlin, 20 yards out, his third receiving touchdown of the day. And Glafter's 15 for 19, over 200 yards and a touchdown. Sets a new record for passing touchdowns in a career. He's got 63, and he's only a sophomore, fellas. 28 to 0. Eastern Michigan finally scores. But Randall Glopter has put on a show. Went a shot deep again. There's Gregory McLaughlin again into the end zone. That will be roughing the passer. They're going to decline it. And Nebraska City is just on fire. See why Mogmer roughing the passer doesn't even matter. 79 yards, touchdown. Four touchdowns on the day for Gregory McLaughlin. He's got 194 yards receiving. Eastern Michigan scores. Randall Glopter, 16 for 20, 297 yards and five touchdowns. Does it up. There's Gregory McLaughlin again. 19 yards in a first. 17 for 21, 316 yards, 5 touchdowns. This is a doozy. There's Jamal Gonzalez, and Gonzalez is gone. 56 yards, another touchdown. School record for passing touchdowns in the game goes to Randall Glopter. This is all in one half, fellas. Put him on the Heisman watch. Holy cow. 42 to 14 behind a bombardment of passes. Six touchdowns, no interceptions for Randall Glopter. He's got a seven yard rush. I believe he's got to be about 400 passing yards by now. This is just really something else. And a Glopter running defenders over. He's got a first down. Four rushes, 46 yards for Anna Glopter. Once another shot. Knocked away. Randall Glofter, 18 for 25, over 370 passing yards. This, this is ugly. I think they got to be trying to get him the passing record for most yards in a single game. Randall Glofter falls forward six yards. It'll be a manageable third and four. And they're going to pass again. This is only their fourth third down of the day. A miss throw. Tim Brown was applying somewhat of coverage. 
And I guess hit the wrong button, so I guess we're going to go for it. Knocked away. Didn't mean to go for it, but whatever. There you go, Eastern Michigan. Now you're only down by 21. 324 to go, third quarter. 42-21, Nebraska City. Randall Glopter just lost two yards right there, fellas. Second and 12. Let's try another pass, I guess. Six rushes, 50 yards for Randall Glopter. There's Arthur Irby. He lost a yard. Third down, 13 to go. Randall Glofter's down to 370 yards passing now. Once Irby on the screen, he broke a tackle. He only got three yards, though. Well, this attack has cooled down, and if this kidding, Eastern Michigan decided it didn't want to score and make it a two-score game. That yeah, wait, that can be right. No, it's right. Irby's got an 11-yard rush. I think they're saying get Glopter 400 yards. But, um, that's gonna have to wait a bit. Arthur Irby cuts up field, nine yard rush. They've got over a hundred rushing yards. Here we go. Underthrown ball, and that's intercepted. That is Randall Glopter's first mistake of the day. Kevin Johnson, you suck. Eastern Michigan does score. So now they gotta probably score to put this game out of reach. Goes deep. McLaughlin falls down. He's got 39. And we have a record for receiving yards in the game. 252 for Gregory McLaughlin. And O'Glofter tough running. He's got 11 yards. Seven rushes, 61 yards. They're looking to effectively end this. All right, somehow Eastern Michigan's cut it to a 14-point game. Don't ask me how. There's Kendrick Coe. He's got 14 yards. Oh, Coe's got a touchdown, too. Everyone's getting touchdowns, basically. Goes underneath to Mar Gonzalez. He's in. 11 yards and a touchdown, and that should end this game. Randall Glotter is going to be your player of the game, no doubt in my mind. Somehow it's only a 13-point game. Missing extra points again, I see. Arthur Irby just lost two yards. Pudge Cotton making the stop. Irby just is not doing so hot, but that is okay. Because they have just buried Eastern Michigan under the bombardment of Randall Glopter's first half hotness. He's cooled down in the second considerably, but his final stats are going to be something to see.
Two for five on third downs. Let's see if I can get this one and ice it. You got a block, but not another. And they're kind of stuck in no man's land. So here's probably where they're going to say just go for it. There's Arthur Irby. He's got the first down. And a flag for roughing the passer. Oh, we're just going to decline it. Avante Robinson got lucky. And now we're just going to look to grind the clock down. And such. 448 yards. Seven touchdowns and one interception. Randall Glofter has turned in a masterpiece of a game. And Arthur Irby's trying to make the most out of what's left of his starting time. He's got eight yards. First down for Arthur Irby, and that'll end it. Our defense was unseasonably porous. Like, usually they're not that bad. And he goes in motion. Kendrick Coe dropped it. Well, we're going to save you some time, I guess, East, Eastern Michigan. I don't even know what I'm doing. Bad play call. Arthur Irby cuts up field. Eastern Michigan is now out of timeouts. It'll be a third and six. Two for six on third downs. They've got three red zone trips and three red zone touchdowns. And Arthur Irby bouncing in off his guys can't be brought down. 16 yard touchdown run. That'll put the exclamation point. Eastern Michigan scores again. And they'll just take the knee and let this clock hit zero. Just kidding, we're going to burn a timeout and try something. Because I am greedy. Lofter shaking off tackles. There goes Randall Glofter just running. Got him to 86 rushing yards. And somehow we only won by like 17. I mean 13. I don't even know how that happened. But real quick we have to check the stats. I mean that was ridiculous. Glopter's final stats, a 246 quarterback rating. 25 of 34 for 448 yards, 7 touchdowns, 1 interception, 73 completion percentage. Arthur Irby, 11 rushes, 80 yards, and a touchdown. Randall Glopter, 10 rushes, 86 yards. And Arthur, or er, Gregory McLaughlin, seven catches, 254 yards, and four touchdowns. Jamal Gonzalez had six catches, 135 yards, and two scores. Yeah, that was insane.
I want to see the final stick. All right, total offense, 614 yards of total offense. Somehow, Eastern Michigan had 435. They had five passing touchdowns on 393 yards. We had seven on 448. Defense, what are you doing? We both threw one interception. Alright, that was fun. That'll do it for me. I hope we have another barn burner like that again. I'll see you guys next time.